Howdy everybody, this is Steve KM9G, and today I'm gonna to take two boxes with our favorite goodies in them, the Tiny SA and the Nano VNA, and I'm going to reduce them in size to this little case right here. This is fantastic, it doesn't get much better than this. So uh, let's get over to the bench and make, make some awesome happen. These things are great, the Nano VNA and the Tiny SA, and I even actually like the boxes that they come in, they're very, they're very nice, they're almost biblical in style. I don't know, I just like the way they, they are. However, they're not very portable in this style. One of the things that I noticed about these is that they are almost the size of the traditional portable hard drive, and I know they make portable hard drive cases. So, let's put two and two together, because you know I love me some storage. So what I got is this, let's see if it works. This is Save an Ants. Save an Anche. Save it, Save an Anche. Save it, Save an Ace. I don't know. I can't pronounce any of these words anymore. I give up. Okay, let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, we have that pluck and pull foam. So there's foam there that we can play with. And then we've got that. And then we have the Nano VNA and the Tiny SA. And they both fit. That's awesome. Okay, so now we need to set about getting some stuff taken care of. The other thing that we have to worry about, though, is all of this extra bit of junk that comes in the case. We've got test leads, we've got an antenna, we've got a USB A to C cable, we've got a union, more test leads, more test leads, USB C to USB C, USB A to USB C, another union, and then we have our OSL collection here. That's a lot of junk. So, I thought of that too. We have these little bags here, and these are little mesh bags. So you can see what's in them. And there's, what is this? This is a this is a five pack. So maybe we'll use two of them. Maybe we'll use more than two, I don't know. But uh, the mesh is tight enough you're not gonna lose anything. So what I'll do is I'll put the OSL and the unions in there. There's more room for stuff than that. The antenna can go in there. I'll use another one for the cables. I don't technically need three USB cables, but I, I might might see a circumstance where I might need two. And then what am I gonna do with this third one anyway, now that I have it? So let's get those arranged inside of the bags. Okay, that's all set. That would also fit nicely up there. And nicely up there and then we have these four test leads well there's still some room over here for the extra bag so let's do that oh, I'm liking this this is this is turning out nice there we go so we've got all that now let's see what we can do if anything with this pluck and pull foam I'm not really a big fan of this stuff but So there's one full edge down here, and there's not, I can't imagine there's enough strength to have one line running down the center. That'll just keep them from sliding around. Yeah, that's, that's too tight. Let's do one more line. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's perfect, actually. There we go. Nice little handle. And now that's my Nano VNA and Tiny SA travel bag. So that's pretty slick. Man. We're gonna have to rename this to the, uh, the temporarily offline ham radio accessory bag channel because that's, that's apparently what I do now. And I, I really enjoy making these little bags and, and solving these problems and making these things good to go. So we've got the Nano VNA and Tiny SA go bag. We're ready to put this inside of our regular routine day pack and have our EDC, VNA, and SA. What more could a nerd like us want? So inside the bag, inside the big bag, we've got the little bags up top, we've got our open short load, we've got our test leads, and we have all of our USB cables and antennas and accessories and stuff, accessories. And then in the bottom, try to crowd me out here, in the bottom we've got our tiny SA and our nano VNA and they're all safe and sound in their nice little cases. 
Links in the description for all of these things, both all both of these things down below. Fairly cheap, fairly cheap protection, and now I don't feel so bad shoving it in my box. Uh, when I would take these out on the road, these boxes would come open and the stuff would fall out. Then I'd have to go hunting for it. So that's where this solution was born from. So there you have it. Thanks for being awesome. There's a video right over here I think you will enjoy next. I'll see you over there.